Hello and welcome back to another vlog. So what I've been working on recently is um, the tracing. I finally got a trace to work to get the center of the screen so now it will show. As you can see here it's placing platforms where the dot is pointing. And I'm planning on using that for some of the attacks. It was quite annoying to set up. It's not difficult but I could just couldn't figure out the right things to use. I've also been uh, working out how timelines worked. At first it didn't go too well, they would go more up or more down. But that's because I used a relative node instead of an absolute node. So that was easily solved eventually. What I wanted to do with that is like create these floating bridges and platforms and stuff like that that you can actually use in the game. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I finally got um, a damage and health system working in a way that I like it. I still have to do the combo system, but I've already figured out how to do it. I just first want to make the animations, uh, at least some placeholder animations, to see if it would work with the system that I have in my mind. But as you can see, now if I hit him again, he dies. It's also based off resistances, which you can set up in the um, blueprint. So some enemies could be more resistant to energy attacks, other more to um, fire attacks, and etc. etc. That will create uh, damage multipliers, either higher or lower. Which was, if, when, once you figure out the right way to do it, it wasn't that hard. And also, I've today I finally think I figured out how to start casting to work, which I struggled with for quite a while, so I'm quite happy about that. Yeah, that really makes things easier for me. Um, as you, I've also been working on idea for another attack. When some enemies die, oh, as you can see there, as when some enemies dry, die, they would drop an orb, which would be attracted to the player when they enter certain bounds. Um, this would be then up to five or six orbs that the player could use, and um, they just rotate around the player. And then when the player attacks, and doesn't work quite yet, but. Just uh, as an example, it would just fly to the targets, but there's nothing else falling. Then you grab another one, and another one, and they just throw it around the player. It, the thing is, it only selects one the entire time. It's quite strange. While if you have one and you fire it, it says there's nothing else following. So I still need to figure that out. I've only worked on that today, so. It shouldn't be too difficult to fine-tune that. Um, oh yeah, there is one other thing I want to show you. The last thing that I worked on was just briefly, um, I had this idea for a boss fight where the player would be surrounded by these squares and then the boss could control those to do various things. So far all they do is like rotate like that, but I kind of like the effect, it looks pretty cool. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll try to keep these vlogs regular, but I won't have as much time soon to work on this. But you know, I'm gonna do my best. I still wanna make this game, so thank you for watching.